Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Debbie. It's another special day. I hope you surprise someone in your house with some breakfast in bed or some special presents or maybe some special surprises to celebrate Mother's Day. And our friends are all honoring their mothers and their families together. I know that in your families, you've been spending a lot of time together. And so you might uh, have heard your mom say something over and over again. And maybe your mom has heard you do something over and over again. And I bet that happened all the way back at the beginning of the Bible. I bet a lot of families and a lot of moms have been saying the same things for a long time. So we're gonna, we're gonna pop in and just uh, see what's going on in a few families with a few mothers. Let's get started. In the beginning, God created a beautiful world. And in one of the beautiful gardens, he created people. Adam and Eve lived with God in that garden for a long time. And then they got into a little bit of difficulty. And then God blessed them with children, Cain, the older son, and Abel. But here's what I think Eve said, like every mother who has more than one child. Cain, stop bothering your brother. Rebecca was the mother of twins, Esau and Jacob. But it might be that Rebecca had a favorite. And Esau thought, Mom always liked you best. Yochebed was a mother with a plan. Her baby's life was in danger. So she put him in a basket and put him in the Nile River and prayed that God would have a way to save him. She asked her daughter, Miriam, Miriam, watch your brother. And Moses landed in a safe place and found another mother. And then Miriam had an idea so that her mother could take care of her baby. And they called him Moses. Zechariah was a priest working in the synagogue and was visited by Gabriel the angel who said, you have been blessed. Your wife Elizabeth will have a son. And Zechariah couldn't believe him. He thought he was too old. But the angel said, you shall call him John. And Zechariah couldn't say another word until the day John was born. Elizabeth and Zechariah named their child John as Gabriel had instructed them to do. And when they did, Zechariah's power of speech immediately returned. John would grow up to be John the Baptist, the prophet who foretold the coming of Jesus. And now we come to the best Mother's Day of all, the day that Mary gave birth to her son, Jesus. And angels appeared to shepherds to tell them the good news. Fear not, I bring you good news of great joy. Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born, who is Christ the Lord. Mary treasured all these things in her heart as she raised Jesus, but also had to endure the greatest sacrifice of all, all those stories have that love and care in common, especially the birth of, of Jesus. The love and care and guidance that mothers give us is the, our first taste of that love, but it comes from God. Mothers are caregivers, fathers are, grandmothers, grandparents, aunts and uncles, anyone can be a caregiver. But today we honor our mothers. So let's say a prayer for those mothers, okay? All right, everybody, let's fold your hands. Everybody fold your hands. Everybody ready? Okay. 
All right, you fold your hands and we'll say a prayer together. Good and gentle God, we give you thanks for our mothers and for the wonder and hope of each new life they bring into this world. Bless them with your endless love and give them the strength and the encouragement to care for their children, but also to extend their love to those around them who may need the care of a mother. Give mothers faithful support from their families and friends and give them the same joy and delight in their children that you felt for all of us as children of God and the joy that your own mother Mary must have felt when she had you. Most of all, God, give us the wisdom to turn for your guidance every day. We can be great caregivers when we turn to you for your love. All these things we pray in your name. Amen. All right. Have a wonderful Mother's Day with your moms and have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.